double doors to the penthouse floats off its hinges. Balthazar and Dave enter past a painting of Drake on a throne, attended by a panther and a gorgeous, worshipful woman. That's horrifying. Let's just find the grim hole and be done with it. They split up. Balthazar peers through a doorway. We hover behind Drake's glass desk as we watch him step into the opulent private office. He sees a map spread out on the desk with a Merlin circle drawn around one section labeled Forbidden Domain. Battery Park. The Rising. As he crosses a black Persian wall, his feet sink into the fabric, which grows thick and viscous like tar. Persian quick rug. He thinks I'm old. Meanwhile, Dave eyes two brass sculptures flanking a fireplace. Ostentatious. Looking around, he notices the Grimhold sitting on a small pedestal in front of the hearth. With a shrug, he crouches to it and reaches out, then hesitates. Ooh. Huh? He wags his finger shrewdly, then rubs his face. He abruptly grabs the Grimhold and looks around warily. He sees a faded rendering of a female on its black surface. So that's Morgan. He turns it around to find the likeness of Balthazar's beloved. Veronica. In the private office, Balthazar sinks waist deep in the Persian quick rug. He summons a window curtain to his hand, but it comes loose as he yanks on it. Now Dave skulks back toward the foyer, looking around. Balthazar. That was easy. Horvath holds Dave, Becky hostage. Give me what I want and I'll let her go. Dave, what is going on? It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. No, she's not. She's gonna be ground up into chunks and fed to the cat. Unless you give me Merlin's ring and the Grimhold. Oh, Balthazar, he's busy admiring the decor. So what's it going to be? In the office, Balthazar levitates a trunk chained to a high shelf. Next, he impels a statue on the other side of the room to spin, unraveling another chain wrapped around it. It works its way over to the trunk and links up with the first chain. The statue continues to spin, giving it some slack. Shoulder deep in the rug, Balthazar manages to grab hold. A winch reels in the chain, pulling him free. Back in the foyer, Dave holds out Merlin's ring and Horvath magically snatches it. Here. He offers up the grim hold. Take it. Horvath draws it to himself. <gasps> he releases Becky. Merlin's ring. It's been a while since I've been this close to it. I wonder if it still works. Dave saves Becky from a plasma bolt which decapitates a statue. Horvath <laughs> exits. Balthazar arrives and looks around. The Grimhold. He takes in Dave's sorry expression, then shuts his eyes. I see. He, he, he took my ring. He was gonna kill Becky. I'm so sorry, Balthazar. I would have done the same thing, Dave. Balthazar walks out to the terrace. His apprentice follows. Where, where, where are you going? Battery Park. Horvath's going to release Morgana. Well, you, you can't take him on and Morgana at the same time. That's the... You literally can't. I have to try. Well, then I'm going with you. Without any magic. He has your ring. I'm going alone. He hops up on the ledge. Oh. No, it's, that's a normal thing for him. The sorcerer turns, facing Dave and Becky. No one knows how much time they have. To be with the people that are the most important. Enjoy it. He shuts his eyes, spreads his arms wide, and falls backward. Dave and Becky run to the ledge and see him riding off on the steel eagle from the Chrysler building. Now, Becky confronts Dave inside Drake's penthouse. 